Hey guys, so I've been using this laptop as my main computer for the last week. I used it in Sketch, Final Cut, IA Writer and all the other apps that I use a little bit less than those because those three are the main ones that I generally use and I'm lucky to say that they're all universal. So how did it go? Is it okay to actually use this little laptop as your main machine for professional work? Well, as I said, if your workflow includes only universal apps like mine, so Final Cut and Sketch and IA Writer, then you should be fine. I've heard people getting really crazy good benchmarks from Adobe products running on Rosetta, but I wouldn't really recommend it, you know, if you have a deadline and if you have a really important project done in the Adobe suite, it usually fails, you know, just an hour before the deadline. So just don't risk it yet. Just wait a little bit. I think that Photoshop is gonna be available for this computer in about a month or two. Until then, just stick to your own regular laptop. Okay, and I need to report that there was one crash this week on this computer. So it crashed when I was working in Final Cut Pro on like a 1080p project, so it wasn't really that extensive and I launched Firefox and I have no idea what happened, but the computer completely froze and the screen turned pink and there was some like glitchy pixel visuals for a second on the screen and then it went black. And when I restarted the computer by holding down the power key, it just came back and the project was just as I left it. So I didn't really lose any data because of that. And I did send a report from this crash to Apple and I tried reading it, but it was really like uh, gibberish. So I couldn't really understand what was the problem. But I tried repeating this, so I launched the same project and I launched Firefox with the same Windows again, and it didn't happen anymore. So that's pretty understandable, because a lot of the apps done for the M1 right now are version 1s, so they're gonna be fixed and updated, and there's still a lot of bugs to catch probably. Yeah, so overall it works great as a professional device, and for me, when all my apps are universal, it just works perfect. The battery is amazing. The performance is mind-blowing and some of the tests that I did on the last video on the M1 were actually stretching it in sketch to its limits and you know I worked on really big projects in the past and none of them actually required you having 1800 artboards on one screen so like in a real world scenario I think you should be fine even with the M1 MacBook Air for design but since I have the ability to actually work on pretty complex documents in sketch and sometimes in Figma I decided to actually start a new website and I'm gonna announce it in about a week that's gonna be creating a standardized tests of MacBooks for design. So I'm just gonna be testing them in the similar scenario in Sketch mostly because it's gonna be really easy to translate those scores to Figma and to XD as well. So for starters, we're gonna compare the M1 MacBook Pro with the Quad-Core i7 MacBook Pro 15 inch and also like a very old 2013 MacBook Air and a 2020 Intel i5 MacBook Air. And once again, the tests that we're gonna do are gonna be over the top. So for real projects, like working on an app design or a website design, you will have all the performance you need. So those tests will be actually pushing it way beyond what any real project would do. Yeah, but so far so good. I really like this computer. It's nice, portable, has a great battery and really works super fast. So that's it for today. I'm gonna report back in about a month with like more in depth of uh, how it is really working on it full time. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video and see you next time. Cheers.